Hello and welcome back to another unboxing on my channel here. This is a rather exciting unboxing today for myself personally. And we'll find out why in a moment. Um, but this I have had for possibly about a week now. I just have not been able to get around to opening it. I've been really, really busy with um, some university work that I've had to get done. Um, which is all done now and finished, finally. And this is, of course, quite a few bits and pieces in there. Let's move the box out of the way. Lock on, volume three. Whoa, loads of stuff going on here. Let's check this out, guys. So, from the get-go, really gorgeous front cover there. Obviously, Shenmue inspired. Lock on, volume three. This is the hard cover version. So previously, Lock On have done two other issues. Obviously, that's number three. They've done number one, number two, and these are the soft cover copies. This was like um, I think I missed number number one on Kickstarter, but I backed number two to get number one as part of it as well. And I think they'd sold out of the hard covers. And um, not sure on number two, but I ended up wanting to get like a sort of a a set of soft covers but then obviously when <laughs> number three came out and the Shemu cover was the hard cover I had to get the hard cover version and oh my god I can see the back already that looks rather swanky so let's crack this open first so we'll check out everything that comes inside the packaging here of issue three volume three rather of lock on and I'll tell you a little bit more about this once we um start to look at it so there's the spine there number three um, it's numbered as well hand hand numbered there 391 I believe out of 800 and look at that backing that is gorgeous isn't it that's obviously Gwilin from Shemu 2 semi Shemu 3 looks more Shemu 2 to me seeing the um, what would you call that sort of oval shaped mounting tops of Gwilin and obviously the front there we've got Potentially Hong Kong or Dubuita Street. Probably more likely to be Dubuita Street and he's holding his bag there on his journey. And rather fitting actually his you know, second part of his journey. And you'll notice under the writers there, some bloke called James Brown. <laughs> and I think actually the piece is called The Journey. So yeah, again, rather fitting artwork there. Exploring the birth of Shemu and the continuing quest of protagonist Ryo Hazuki. So we'll find out if that was anything to do with me in a moment when we crack this thing open. I don't want to um, tear the obi strip so we'll take this off gently like that and keep that for our collection of course. But you can see the fantastic artwork on the cover there. Really nice sort of like a almost like a purple hue effect going on there. The typical sort of um, gorgeous sunset Shemu sky, and obviously the Gwilin on the back. Hardcover is really, really nice, actually. Um, not too often you get hardcover stuff, or at least, you know, some of the stuff that I purchase doesn't come in a hardcover format, so it's really nice to see. Really, really nicely designed book slash magazine slash... I think they call it a journal. And this particular volume is heavily Dreamcast related. I think they were quoted as saying like maybe 50% of the book is Dreamcast centered. And that's a, a really cool artwork there. Loads of Dreamcast characters you can see. Another cool piece of Dreamcast artwork there. Loads of awesome games there. What we should do actually is do like a, a Shenmue spot, like a Ryo Hazuki, can you spot him? Across the pages is there obviously and obviously on the front cover <laughs> and he's also there as well so yeah really cool stuff I, i'm not going to go too mental with this and show you like every single page but we'll um we'll have a quick breeze through obviously you can see some of the fantastic artwork there you've got the dreamcast console box art some nice stuff in there another piece on Dreamcasts, Naomi, the arcade. Yeah, 
yeah, I, I can already tell how amazing this um, this is going to be such a fantastic read. You know, loads of incredible writers and talented artists. The paper quality feels insane. The smell <laughs> from them. Um, I, I mean, I remember smelling the first two, and they were like they smelled amazing. Um, I think you've got to um, to smell it to believe it. There's some awesome stuff in there. We're going to stop once we reach the Shenmue piece. Super magnetic Neo. I still love that game. Here we go, guys. So, got the uh, front cover artwork there. So, The Journey Words by James Brown. Art Macau. Cool. So, basically, guys. So, Lost in Cult approached me. Um, when was it? Probably about six or seven months ago now, maybe, possibly something like that. Asking me if I would like to write a Shamu piece. Um, at first, like I didn't really know what to write about because I feel like whenever anyone writes about Shamu, it's always the tried and tested, you know, game mechanics. You know, as though you, no one's ever heard of or played Shamu, and I didn't want to come across from that sort of angle um, because I feel like anyone picking this up has probably played the game. Um, probably knows how to play it at least as well and and little bits and bobs about the actual game so what I decided to do was talk about the journey and there's an awesome piece that's um, well it's on phantomriverstone.com and it was like an ongoing series back in the day um, that Yu Suzuki and his fellow compadre <laughs> they went across to China and explored the country to try and get some insight into martial arts and the culture that they were then going to take back to the Sega headquarters and use to work on Virtua Fighter 2. So a lot of the experiences that Yu Suzuki um, came across whilst out there in China actually, you know, was get running through his head, his mind, coming up with these stories and concepts for what would end up becoming, obviously, Shenmue and the ongoing saga there. So really interesting hopefully anyway that uh, if you've if you've not read this piece and you've got lock on um or or you know you, you might be interested in reading this particular piece that's the kind of angle i came from the um, what went into the mind of yu suzuki to formulate shenmue basically on his journey there so awesome to see something that i've written and such a quality product is pretty insane, really, especially with some of the, the other names that are on this this writer's list. Adam Korolik and John Linneman. I mean, it's it's just insane. So I hope anyone out there, any Shemu fans that may have picked this up, you've uh, really appreciated what I wrote here. And it wasn't just a, you know, what is Shemu <laughs> at the end of the day. It was like a, a little bit deeper a little bit more detailed and covered actually Shemu 1, 2 and up to Shemu 3 here and moving forth so hopefully yeah you enjoyed that read um I won't go through all the, the rest of the book here we'll just have a quick flick through but you can see it's jam-packed with art and you know video game content here that is really really amazing such a well designed there's a Rio Rio spot again Rio watch <laughs> We spotted him again. Such a well-designed product. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased we've been asked and uh, to be a part of that. So let's check out some of the other stuff that comes with this. So we've got some cards here. They've got some sort of a, a trading card thing going on here. This was the, the old pack that I had um, from issue one and two. All the cards there. I'm not sure if they're random or there's a particular, there's a series going on here. Um, I think it is a series like everyone gets the same cards as far as I'm aware. So we've got some stickers here. Let's try and um, get them to move down the packaging somehow. There we go. So I think there is a Shenmue sticker in there from memory. Really cool design. I like this. It's like very old school. Um, I'm not sure if you'd get this inside a magazine or something like that. I might be thinking of, but there's a few cool stickers in there. I don't know whether to open it or just leave it. Um... I'm tempted, but I also don't want to ruin it, <laughs> which I probably would do. Lock on. 
that's obviously beat from Jet Set Radio. I love the, um, can you see the shiny, shimmery foil effect they've got going on there on the wheel and the cans. That's not cheap, man. I know from like my spot UV treated on the um, Shenmue World magazine. You have to pay quite a bit for this kind of, um, you know, quality. Look at that. Gorm on the back there. Really cool. And we've got some art cards. Ooh. Kind of wasn't expecting to get that one. I believe they were selling that separately, right? Or, or was that... Oh, no, that might be an A3 version. So, yeah, that's lovely. Um, Skies of Arcadia piece. Shenmue piece. There's a game. Uh, it's, this was... I think this braced the cover of this, the soft cover, but I'm not quite sure what it was. Um... Obviously, tell how Shem, um, well, yeah, Shemu and Sega centuries centered I am. Particularly, that's awesome as well. Nice, awesome A3 folded poster there. The Dreamcast. Hmm. Very, very cool. Um, what else we got here? We got a Papercraft Dreamcast box. The QR code, I'm guessing, takes you to the uh, Papercraft website. Got an advert for Wave who are releasing a lot of, or at least publishing perhaps is the better phrasing on that, a lot of indie titles there. What's this, we've got a golden eye. Is this a, an extra little written piece about golden eye? They've just decided to do in a little book, that's pretty cool. And is this this pack of cards? Oh no, there's another pack of cards here. So these two, maybe these were like two, um, like Kickstarter, Exclusives. I think that is Xeno Crisis, right? Like one of the bosses. And there's Intrepid Izzy, which is another Dreamcast indie game. So a quick check of these cards. Like I say, I don't. I'm not 100% what's going on with these cards. I didn't really look into it, but I believe it's some sort of a um, card game of sorts you can play. I think there's a rule card. I don't know if it, there'll be a rule rule card in this. Um, Kind of what I'm trying to say in this pack, or you know, that the rule card's been and gone. Um, let's go like that. It's a little golf journey, Gish, the bloat, wrestling empire. I think they're all based on game characters, perhaps. Isaac from Binding of Isaac, isn't it? It's one I remember or recognize rather. Valkyrie is that from Gun Valkyrie or something else, perhaps? Really nice quality cards and artwork ukulele I recognise <laughs> a lot of stuff I don't recognise here rush rush rally is it or rush could be rush rush rally oh there's the rules yeah you see you have to QR code it to get the rules so yeah really cool product really cool item there guys I think they're still available to pick up um, not sure so much on the hardcover Shenmue. If you're a big Shenmue fan, you know, watch my stuff and you're a Shenmue fan. But um, a bit of a uh, moistery <laughs> fingerprintiness going on there. Um, wipes off easy enough. And that is absolutely gorgeous, really. The hardcover cover, yeah. So, yeah, I'll put a link anyway if I can find... The, well, I will be able to find, obviously, the links directly to the lock-on store, but whether or not, like I say, this is actually still for sale. I know they were doing some sort of a, a seconds sale with, like, some damaged ones or perhaps ones that aren't up to um, the standard that they'd be sending out to the original Kickstarter backers, but I will put a link in the description if you're interested, and uh, hopefully if there are still available, you might want to pick that up and get this awesome Shenmue hardcover product with something that I've written in there, which is... Still insane to me. Um, might have to go show my wife now. <laughs> so yeah, take care guys and I'll see you on the next one.